Okay, Ignacio, um, we venture into C major today to, to brighten up our moods just a little bit. So first you just have a very basic exercise, which is a C, and then a G7, but the root's been cut out. So it's a G7 slash B, which just means the B note is the root instead. G7 over B. And your right hand goes like this. This is mainly for the thumb. The right hand does not change from chord to chord. So you want to get the right, the left hand, excuse me, on autopilot. So you really don't think about the left hand changing. You can just focus on this. And then over time, you can speed it up just a little bit. And that leads us to the new progression, which um, has jazz and kind of old-timey um, Tin Pan Alley kind of qualities. And it's, um, it's C, E, A7, D minor. That's your first passage. And then the second passage retains that sort of dark character by starting on the E and then going to an A minor seventh. That means an A minor without your ring finger. It has a slightly jazzier sound. And then a D7, not D minor, which then converts to the D minor. And then the G major very quickly converts to a G7 over B. And just like the former exercise, this is all about the right hand. Well, no, actually, it's not true. There's a shit ton of chords. But the right hand has a prominent role, and the thumb especially is always alternating. So the thumb's going to be going in three finger chords, and then the thumb just alternating two notes. E is going to be six and five. A will be five and four. D will be four and three. Your fingers are very close together, but that's okay. Back to E, second half. This time an A minor seven and a D dominant seven. Switching to a D minor. And then, so let's explain that move at the end. You have D for two beats, D7, and then D minor for, sorry, the D7 was four beats. One, two, three, four, and then D minor, one, two, G, G7 over B, C. So that's the only quick passage. You can practice that um, before you do the whole progression like this. Always resolve it to the C so that you feel and hear the resolution. So the whole progression in real time would be. And then the other thing we talked about is an intro for um, Black Orpheus, where you and where you just hit the low E before you do the slide. So it's and that gives you a second to get it all clean, and it sounds better too because you have a proper bass. And the exercise I gave you to practice that is just to go four, seven, four, seven, several times, and then seven, ten, seven, ten. Have fun, bud.